Okay, YouTube. Um, this your girl Eva. I'm back, and I'm doing a recreation of the firecrackers. Okay, and um, and I, 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 the first time I tried these crackers was when my kid's dad. He was working on the uh, food truck here in Houston, Randy's food truck. If anybody, any y'all know about that food truck. And it was around Thanksgiving or Christmas is the only time that they would really have these crackers. So I looked the crackers up one time online, but it was like a long time ago. And then I just, because I wanted to order some, but I was like, well, shit, forget it. Okay. So I passed it up, then came across the crackers at a store right here called Pie Burns, which is uh, Hobby's Bites Original Hot which are these right here, okay? And um, y'all could say they look like regular crackers, but I'm telling y'all, they these crackers here are good. Um, so I want to do a recreation myself of the crackers and say so y'all the ingredients. You need chili flakes. Ah, oh, I still said chili flakes. Crushed red pepper flakes. You need red pepper flakes, okay? However much you want to put in there, it's up to you. Uh, I put a little extra cayenne pepper in mine. Okay? You're going to need a package of ranch dressing. Okay? You're going to need chili powder. Uh, one, you're going to need a teaspoon of chili powder. You're going to need one and a half cups of canola oil not vegetable oil canola oil what you do is you're going to take the red pepper flakes you're going to pour it in there with the canola oil you're going to take the ranch dressing you're going to pour a package of ranch dressing into the canola oil you're going to take a teaspoon or no a tablespoon of chili powder and put in also with the canola oil and you're going to do, as I'm doing here, you're going to mix it up. Okay? Till it all comes together. Okay? You're going to also need crackers. Bam. A bag of crackers. Now, don't y'all talk about my bag, right? Because, see, I was at this place while I was working, and, and, it was, and a man brought some food by. So he gave it to us and I didn't have anything to put my stuff in. So where I was working at, he, the gentleman just gave me that green bag right there. Nothing was ever in it. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just a green bag. So that's about it, y'all. All right. So, um, so this is actually two packages of crackers, okay? This is two packs of crackers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the the uh mixture that i have which is here and i'm going to actually pour that into the bag of crackers now i look like i may need another thing of crackers here that's actually that's three packs so three pack of crackers that i have right there so i'm gonna just i'm gonna let that let that do okay so i'm gonna sit y'all down right here YouTube. What y'all doing? All right. I'm going to set y'all down right there. I know the glare or whatever is there. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the bag. Okay. And we're going to finish mixing a little bit more. Okay. And you know what, y'all? Y'all can actually taste the, uh, that's it right there, y'all. Taste it. So what you're going to do is, you're going to pour that over there, right? Close up your bag. Y'all know these bags be kind of janky sometimes. Close up your bag, okay? Rub your hand across there. Make sure it's still good. 
You don't want nothing coming out. So what you gonna do is, so do your crackers like this here. I'm telling y'all, if stuff come out good, guess what? Parties, New Year's, Christmas, y'all can make that and introduce these crackers to somebody at y'all house that don't know nothing about these crackers. Make this, and guess what? They gonna be like, girl, where you get these crackers from? Girl, I made them crackers. Girl, you gotta give me the recipe. I'm telling you, maybe it's gonna be a big hit. I ain't lying to y'all. So, gotta pour a little bit more. Pour a little bit more. Let me get me going and get that mixed together. Gonna go pour a little bit more. Now, see, y'all would think that this is gonna be soggy. You don't bake these, you don't do nothing because cause your crackers are already baked. They might make them soggy. Cause I actually I thought that you have to you you're supposed to bake these, but you no. Know? And then see you guys, you shake it around like that. Ow! See, see what just happened? My crackers fell out my damn bag. See what I'm talking about? That's why I say y'all gotta make sure y'all have y'all y'all stuff um, covered up. I mean, close up real, real good, or else you gonna lose it. All right, here we go. One more time. All right. I got a little mess I got to clean up here, y'all. I wasn't planning on no mess. You know, we grown. We ain't supposed to be having no mess. So you're supposed to let them sit for like about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And then you come back and try and taste them. So what I'm going to do is, you guys, I'm going to try one before I, before I uh, put it up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one before I put it up. Let me just go to get the rest of my little stuff out of there. Y'all already know. You know what, black people, we got to get the last of it out of there. So now, y'all, we're going to try one. Let's see what it tastes like. To me, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think maybe one and a half packages, one and a half pack of of ranch dressing will do to bring up that flavor. But that's it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. That's what to do. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this in the ice box, y'all. And um and let that marinate overnight. I'm gonna let it just like this here. Woo -wee. Oh that's it right there, y'all. If you want it, I'm gonna tell y'all. If y'all want it a little bit spicier, a little bit hotter, and a little bit more um cayenne pepper. I mean red pepper, ground cayenne pepper. Add just a little bit more. You're going to get that kick. But I'm telling y'all. That's it right there. Follow that. You good. One and a half cups of canola oil. Red pepper flakes. However much you want to put in there. Teaspoon. A, a table. A tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of chili powder. One and a half cups of canola oil, red pepper flakes, and you can add a little bit extra cayenne pepper. Ranch dressing, one pack of ranch dressing. For me, I think I would do one and a half. Just by tasting it, I would do one and a half packs of ranch dressing. So the next time I do it, I think I'm going to do one and a half. And 
put all your ingredients into the canola oil. Put all your ingredients in the canola oil. Mix it up real, real good. Two to three packages of uh, crackers. Now, if you want to do two bags, you would do two, two sleeves of crackers in one Ziploc bag and the other two sleeves in the other one. So you would halfen up the portion. You would pour half in one bag, half in the other bag, and, you know, flip-flop back and forth. So, and after that, bam, that's your crackers. You don't have to bake it. It don't need to go in no microwave, no oven, no nut. Just make it. It's going to sit up. The next day, you let it sit, and guess what? There go your gourmet crackers right there. Tell me what y'all think. In the, in the comments below, let me know, you know what I'm saying, if y'all make it, come back and let me know how it was for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all did. Let me know if y'all could have did something different. Maybe ranch dressing, you might not use the ranch dressing. You might want to use some Italian dressing. I don't know. Come back and let me know what you guys think. And, um... And hey, you know what I'm saying? It's a treat. It's something that, look, summer sausage and cheese with the crackers. Your crackers is not going to get soggy. I can promise you that. They will. They are not going to be soggy. So, you guys, I'm gone because I got to get up in the morning. I got to go to work. I got to be there for 8 o'clock. And me, I'm not a, a morning person. I'm a person, I'm be like, oh, Lord, I want to sleep. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Um, But... Yeah, you guys, come on. Make these crackers with me. And tell me what y'all think. Maybe y'all could give me a little more insight on something to make them a little bit better. Give me something in the comments. Tell me something. Let me know something. Um, tell me what y'all think. But for these crackers here, that's they the bomb. They the bomb. And these are five crackers. So I'll hit you guys later. I'll come back and check in the uh, description box and let me know what y'all think, what y'all thought about them. And you know, guys, we're going to come on with some more recipes and we're going to come on and do a little bit more some something else. But um, hit that su subscribe button, that like button. You know, I'm trying to, I'm girl, she trying to get up there. I'm going to have some pranks to come sometime soon, yeah, guys. Um, not sure when, but I'm going to have some coming soon. On the kids, because the kids always try to get us all the time. They always hiding behind the corner to my, boo, mama, I got you. Like, uh-uh, that's not going to work. I got something for them. But, um, I'm going to hit you, y'all guys. Y'all just hit me later. And let me, like I say, let me know what y'all thoughts on these crackers. Like I say, this is not my own recipe. This is a recipe that I that I came across on YouTube because I was trying to figure out how to make them and somebody else made them. Um, but I just came to redo them on my channel. So like I say, let me know you guys what y'all think and if y'all like the crackers, I'm telling y'all, super easy. Like one, two, three. Your kids can sit and make these fire crackers. See, the kids were supposed to make them with me. I was going to be on here with me, but they got to go to school tomorrow. So I finished one one of my daughter's hair and um i just need to do the other one so lord let me pray and hope that it still be looking the way it did in the morning when she get up i hope so but uh like i say in the comments uh let me know something and hey you know what I'm saying we can put some things together and we're gonna make this happen hit y'all later youtube bye